Hello, um, I'm just trying out that tilt brush on the Oculus Quest. It's absolutely fantastic. I wish I'd recorded it from the beginning. Um, here you can see me, me obviously my um, creation's just loading in. Um, I, should, I really should have recorded it, like I say, from the beginning. I would have remembered all the names of the brushes and the, the processes used. Um, but generally, I'm just a um, pencil and, and paint guy. Um, I've had a go with this. And it's absolutely blown my mind. Um, I love it. So it's quite easy to use. I'm just creating my trees. I think I use the um, the coarse brush to create the trees, and the color picker to change the colors. You know, on the color fill tool. Um, once I've used the splatter brush for the leaves, once I've created my tree, I just select all, copy it all, and then make as many trees as I want. Um, and just vary them bit in sizes or you know not copy the full tree copy half a tree and create a little bit more yourself um, it's quite flexible um, I think I used the spike brush for the grass I'm not sure I can't remember what I used for that um, as it comes I just flick them up quite easy again again and copy and paste or, you know I can do one copy and paste put it wherever I want um, I can use some of the flat brushes uh, for the grass obviously I zoomed right out, got the brush as big as I could, and swept it straight across. Just there the different colours. I have to give like a, um, a, the kind of feel of some of it being in the shade or, or you know a bit of rough ground. Like I say, I'm just playing with it. I've not really um, used it before, but uh, it's quite intuitive. Um, the memory could do with being a bit bigger on it because um, I think this took it to this took. I mean, it was in the red. The memory stick was in the red. Uh, when I checked on it, but saying that, it's it's there's quite a lot in it. It's quite big. Um, you don't I don't have to, I shouldn't have done it this big really. Um, but I didn't really know what we were doing. I just got stuck in. Um, I thought I'd just do feel a few trees, nice bit of a sunset, and I decided to stick some boats in it. Um, just really seeing what I could do with it really. You know, from no experience at all, uh, to just having a go, and just basically making it up as I went along. Um, I suppose that's the best way to use it because I think I'll do a few more on this uh, or within this um, you can just sit there and enjoy the env environment you've created um, so it's, it's, it's very it's pretty nifty too um, I think he used the matte brush for the rocks if I remember correctly yeah I think he did quite easy just pull them out you can copy and paste them or vary the sizes um, I think the bolts were actually the d most difficult ones to do um, because it's accuracy because yeah I think I think I was more concerned about making the ends meet each other and really I shouldn't I shouldn't really bother really I should have just gone with the flow rather than do one didn't like it rubbed it out because the ends really didn't meet but it's down to personal taste in it um but you just sit there um I mean I put that guy in there I think I just use the circle it's just the impression of a guy really sat worshiping the sun and it's um, work on his hair a little bit now um, I use the coarse brush again, just varying the sizes, um, doing the same colours that's already there, maybe. Now that was it, yeah, rubbing, <laughs> rubbing out them dodgy eyes, nose and mouth, I stuck on him. I've not got the anger that, I think it's more of a moulding. You, you, don't, you don't really draw the eyes, nose and mouth, and you, you kind of mould it. So um, I'll work on that. Um, I'll figure out a way to do that. But everything, you know, it's quite straightforward, it's, it's actually quite fun to do. You could be stuck in this for hours and hours. Um, on the Oculus, you'd have to plug it in, I think, on the Quest. After two hours, the battery goes, battery starts to go. So you'd have to plug in or get one of those um, battery packs and just plug it in, you know. But there's ways, there's ways around things. Um, it's quite easy to upload onto your laptop, so you can finish it off and tweak it off in any program you like, like Photo Shop or any video package you like to use. Um, it was quite easy to do. Um, you know, I'm just finishing off his hair, just throw, throw a few coarse lines on for his hair. Um, it's quite easy, I just used the matte hole brush for his body, big triangle. And then just coarse brush to drape something like a cloak over him. As though he's some sort of fisherman, I don't know, worshipping to the sun god. It's like that kind of effect, isn't it? Um, but yeah, it's quite enjoyable, quite easy to use. I could spend hours in this. Um, I need to get used to um, modelling things, um, like faces and animals. 
I'll have to spend a bit more time practicing doing that. Um, and ba you can just let yourself go in this. Mistakes, doesn't matter about mistakes. In fact, I just don't think there is a mistake in this. You just, just undo it. Whereas if you're doing uh, if you're doing it on paper, you make a mistake. You know, it's um, you can only rub it out so many times because it's materials. Materials cost money. In this, it doesn't. You can just let yourself go. I hope you enjoy it anyway. Uh, it's just an environment that I created. I thought I'd give it a go. I've got the quest. I've got tilt brush. I've got a bit of time on my hands. So I thought I'd um, have a bash. I hope you enjoy it anyway. And thanks for watching. And don't forget to save your creations <laughs> like I never. You do it. You've come out of it. You've lost it all. So don't forget to save at the end. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching that. Keep watching. I give him a necklace and all sorts of stuff. Um, it's quite very intuitive to use. Um, and bye for now.